How's it going everyone? Welcome to a Tadpole Badge Guide. Today we're going to be covering the Archer Badge and we're going to go over each portion of the challenge so you guys can get this badge very quick and with ease. Now a lot of it's pretty self-explanatory in terms of kills, repairing a crossbow, crafting bolts, and taking the test. Sounds easy? It is. But for those who don't know where to go and take the archery test, if you go over to Camp Adams or the Pioneer Scout camp, from spawn you want to head on over to the right hand side. There you'll find a little archery range where you'll be able to not only do the test, but find the plans for the crossbow. Now once you have your crossbow crafted, you can go over here to the little archery test start box there. But first, I highly, highly recommend going over to this target and knock off the skeleton because it will get in the way and make the test a lot harder than it needs to be. But now that you've done that, just start up the test and hit your bullseyes on all the targets. It doesn't matter how many times you shoot them, um, as long as you get it within the time limit, you will be good to go. Now one thing that I can say is that let's say you're struggling a little bit on hitting those bullseyes. Unfortunately, you cannot go past the tables, otherwise it will warn you to get back. And even if you hit the bullseyes past the tables, it will not count towards the test. For the uh, archer test, honestly, this is probably going to be the most difficult part of it, but overall the rest of this badge is fairly easy, and we'll show you some tips and tricks on how to go about completing these. And just like that, the test is complete, and you can now move on to the next portion of the badge. Also, I'm going to say this now. It, this order is not the order that you have to do the archery badge. It doesn't matter what badge it is, you can go however you want. This is just the best way that I can put this together, I guess. But moving on to the killing section of the badge, um, there are multiple ways you can go about doing this, and it all depends on how far you are in the game. Let's say you're doing this at a very low level, you're fresh out the um, or fresh out the vault. For kills, you can target critters, target small enemies um, to get your kills if you do not have enough resources to craft crossbow bolts or if you feel like you don't kill things fast enough. Now right here inside of the big old lake next to the camp, you'll find these little mylark eggs. If you interact with them, they'll hatch open, you'll get the little mylark um, spawns or whatever the hell they're called. And you can rack those up for kills if you would like. Now you can rinse and repeat this method in different servers if you want, but this is one way you can go about taking out or getting kills towards the challenge. Now just to show that these kills do count towards the badge challenge, we are currently at 10 out of 50. Now for the second way to go about it is team kills. If you're in a team and you tag or honestly if team or not if you tag an enemy shoot it once or twice and someone else kills it those kills will go towards your challenge and this also does work for um, atom challenges as well so if you are limited in your resources and ammo and you don't or you go to an event and you want to get progress towards your challenges you can do this method as well now just to show you guys that these do count towards the challenge we are now at 26 or 28 out of 50. Again, depending on how, pro uh, how far you are progressed in the game, if you're able to get your hands on a grenade called the Nuka Grenade, you'll be able to do this method, and this method works for all challenges. Put on Grenadier and, Band or Grenadier and Demolition Expert, throw the grenade, and you'll be able to kill enemies in large clusters. And as I showed earlier, those were the kills, and now we are finally finished with the kills for the crossbow. Now you can do this right off the bat if you have maybe one to five grenades, a couple of server hops, and you're good to go. This will be cleared in seconds. Now, for the repair. When it comes down to repairing your weapons, again, 
it all comes down to how far you are in the the game this is one way you can cheese this if you manage to do a titan or queens uh, because those those bosses give you improved repair kits now just to show you we have a crossbow with just a little bit of um, durability gone we'll throw on a basic repair kit which will increase it to a hundred percent and just to show you that it counts we're now one out of three now let's say that we go around and we redo or get some kills get some damage in get that bar back up you can use a basic repair kit again to get it to a hundred percent which will count as two out of three but with a improved repair kit if you use it last it will put your weapon up to 150 percent condition meaning you'll get all three within just a couple minutes from each other and just to show you what I mean, we'll get a, we'll do a couple kills, get a couple uh, shots off with a crossbow. That's more than enough to show. We're going to use a basic repair kit. I'm going to open up the challenges. Now we are currently two out of three. Now we'll go back, repair the weapon again with an improved repair kit. It's now at 150% condition. And now... We are finished with the repair a crossbow for the tadpole challenges. Now, if you don't have any improved repair kits or basic repair kits, that's perfectly okay. Going to your weapons workbench to repair it is more than enough. But I would highly recommend not to repair it past 100%. So then it'll be a little bit easier for you to use the condition and then repair it a little bit faster. As for making the crossbow bolts those are very easy it's just steel and wood and i believe a little bit of plastic and you're good to go but with that that's basically it guys um this is one of the easier tadpole challenges that you can do if you're working towards your bigger backpack and i highly recommend doing this one among a few others which we'll be posting here very very soon um but with that i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions concerns let me know in the comments and i'll get to you as soon as i can but with that, you guys have a wonderful rest, rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.